How's it going, everyone? I want to talk to you today about Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, and an interesting article that I found from CBR regarding the director's cut edition of the film and how the author of that article really feels that the director's cut, mainly the deleted scenes, was not given the proper respect that it deserves. I want to talk to you about that and at the same time some new information that I've never heard of before, although it makes perfect sense to me now that I've seen it, I'm going to share some information with you regarding Kirk and Sulu on this movie. And to me it was quite surprising, but it makes perfect sense now. So I want to throw this information out there and see what you think about it. So join me as we delve into the director's cut of the Wrath of Khan. Okay, so as I said before, the article is from CBR and it was published two days ago by Robert Volk. The Star Trek II director's cut needs a proper re-release. Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan is one of the best Star Trek movies, but a proper re-release of the director's cut can restore a vital plot point. And who do we have here? Midshipman First Class, Peter Preston, engineer's mate. Sir! First training voyage, Mr. Preston. Yes, sir. Midshipman, first class, Peter Preston. Engineer's mate is the person that the article is really talking about here and his tragic death when Khan attacks the Enterprise for the first time. In the theatrical release, Kirk is inspecting the engine room when he walks past Preston. Kirk acknowledges Preston by asking him, do you have any idea? Ideas of the noise that Scotty has given me over the years of how unsafe this ship is and how the Enterprise is a flying death trap. And Preston just snaps back at him, oh no sir, this is the finest ship in the whole Starfleet and if the Admiral can't see it, he's as blind as a, t a Tiberian bat. Scotty immediately jumps in to put Preston in line and Kirk and Scotty talk back and forth and Scotty acknowledges that he, the boy, is Scotty's sister's son, his nephew, which is why this is such an important scene because later on when Scotty brings him to the sick bay and he's dying, Scotty breaks down in tears because it's his nephew that's dying. It's a personal tragedy that's taking place the word given, Admiral. The word is given. Warp speed. I... <sighs> Admiral, this is Spock. In the director's cut, Scotty was more involved with the scene, the, the emotion that he was showing because it was a family member. It was a very deep personal thing for him. And this was the scene that I think the article is really touching on. How this particular scene right here, along with the scene I just showed you, and what was taken away from it, probably could have added more power to the movie. And which is why I believe the author of the, the, author of the article really feels that this needs to be put back in, or rather, they need to do a fresh director's cut version. Again, Scotty on the turbo lift with his nephew, not paying attention to where the turbo lift is going. It shoots right up to the bridge. He's so overwhelmed with grief and fear that his nephew may be dying in his arms. This, I can understand why, again, the author thinks that this needs to be redone. Re a, a special director's edition needs to be redone. I know that one came out in 2021, I have that copy, but I think the, the author of the article is truly really trying to say that this would add more power to the story. And now for something else I promised you at the beginning of the video, something that I learned only today about the Wrath of Khan and the conversation that took place between Kirk and Sulu in the shuttle pod on the way to the Enterprise. I hate inspections. I'm delighted. Any chance to go aboard the Enterprise? Well, I for one am glad to have you at the helm for three weeks. I don't think these kids can steer. 
Okay, so we've all know that one scene. It's it's so iconic. They're on board the shuttle pod. They're heading for the Enterprise for the inspection. And Sulu is so excited. I'm delighted. Any chance to go on board the Enterprise? And then a little moment later, Kirk's going, well, I'm glad to have you at their home for th three weeks. I don't think these kids can steer. Apparently, this conversation was edited out. In fact, there's audio to prove it, but because it's someone else's YouTube video, I'm not allowed to play it, but I can show you the clip or the, the script from it. Okay, so here's that script I promised you. Sulu, Enterprise, this is Admiral Kirk's party on final approach. Communications, Enterprise welcomes you. Prepare for docking. Kirk, I hate inspections. Sulu, I'm delighted. Any chance to go aboard the Enterprise, however, briefly, is always an excuse for nostalgia. Kirk, with Spock as captain, you don't think I'm going to turn anything out, do you? By the end of the month, you're going to own, you're going to have your own command, the U.S. Excelsior. McCoy, oh, congratulations, Commander. Sulu, thank you, sir. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Kirk, well, I am glad to have you at the helm for three weeks. I don't think these kids can steer. In one, in that one scene right there that never was put to the film, Kirk and Sulu are having a discussion about Sulu's final tour with Kirk before his promotion one month later to become the captain of the USS Excelsior. Now, think about that. Sulu was going to become the Excelsior's captain within a month before all this took place. Now, the video can be found in the title, Sulu's Missing Scene from Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan, and the audio is attached to it, too. It's a real cool scene to, to witness. Now, if they did decide to do a new Director's Cut edition, this would be a nice little special feature to add to the disc. But, tell me what you think, not just about this one scene right here, but do you really think we need another special edition? I'm not sure we do. I think they did a pretty good job with what they have out there already. So drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about this. I really want to hear from you. And until the next time, my friends, God bless.